Hi, my name is Carl Warner. I'm a program and education coordinator for the United States Army Heritage and Education Center, an institution of the United States Army War College in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. This October marks the 20th anniversary of the Battle of Mogadishu, fought in the capital city of Somalia. The battle claimed the lives of 18 American soldiers. 84 soldiers were injured, and two medals of honor were awarded posthumously for bravery. Dictator Siad Barre ruled Somalia since 1969, but poor economic conditions and famine in the country precipitated a civil war in January 1991. Warring clans deposed Barre, but left the country with no functioning government. The United Nations authorized a humanitarian relief operation in April 1992 to relieve the famine, with the United States providing a large portion of the international military contingent. The military mission, dubbed Operation Restore Hope, commenced on December 8, 1992, under the direction of an American-led United Nations task force with the mission of distributing humanitarian supplies and food to the starving Somali population. The primary challenge facing the Combined United Nations Task Force was ensuring a predictable and steady flow of supplies to the population. Feuding Somali warlords, primarily General Mohammed Farah Adid and Ali Mahdi Mohammed, constantly interrupted supply convoys and prevented life-sustaining food from reaching the desperate population. Operation Restore Hope ended in May 1993 and a new United Nations task force with new commanders and a new mission began to take control of humanitarian operations within Somalia. Soon after the transition, the warlord General Adid changed his feelings towards the United Nations mission and the diplomats operating in his territory. In a bloody demonstration, Adid's forces ambushed and killed 24 Pakistani soldiers as they conducted humanitarian operations. As a result, the United Nations issued a warrant for Adid's arrest. In August, to assist with the United Nations effort, the United States Secretary of Defense, Les Aspen, ordered the deployment of a joint special operations task force to Somalia to assist with the efforts to capture Adid. The task force conducted numerous raids and expanded the search for the warlord, making the situation within the city of Mogadishu worse every day. On October 3rd, the battle for the city culminated when two U.S. Army Black Hawk helicopters were shot down. A relief force rescued the survivors of one crash. The other helicopter crashed into the heart of the city during a mission to capture key Adid supporters in a stronghold in the crowded Bakara market. Somali civilians, interspersed with Adid fighters, mobbed the crash site with small arms, endangering the survivors. Nearby, Master Sergeant Gary Gordon and Sergeant First Class Randall Shugart, a Newville, Pennsylvania native, moved to the crash site to provide protective covering fire. Unfortunately, the mob eventually overwhelmed the crash site, killing the two Special Forces operators and capturing the pilot, Chief Warrant Officer 3, Michael Durant. For their bravery and sacrifice, Master Sergeant Gordon and Sergeant First Class Shugart posthumously received the Medal of Honor. The mission to capture members of Adid's inner circle was a brutal, bloody battle. The conditions on the battlefield did not allow the American soldiers to take advantage of the U.S. military's technological superiority. Rather, the battle space forced them to fall back on their superior tactical training, experience, and unit cohesion as the means to successfully disengage with the enemy. American soldiers had arrived in Somalia intending to establish a positive environment and provide the starving population with humanitarian aid and food. Unfortunately, Somali fighters, embroiled in their own civil war, viewed the mission as a threat to their power base and fought hard to prevent success. American forces were withdrawn from Somalia over the next two years, with the last U.S. forces departing in March of 1995. The United States accomplished a great deal towards halting starvation in Somalia, but political and military leaders did not see the strategic value in continuing to try to stabilize a nation where the majority of the population worked against that goal. The American soldiers who served in the operation did their best under the worst possible conditions to accomplish an extremely complex and difficult mission.
We invite you to visit us here at the U.S. Army Heritage and Education Center in Carlisle Barracks so you can experience the bravery and contributions of the American soldier. Walk our One Mile Army Heritage Trail and see exhibits covering the history of the U.S. Army from the Revolutionary War to operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. For the student or researcher, we maintain a large paper and digital archive in our state-of-the-art research facility. Everyone is welcome to visit our interactive soldier experience gallery, followed by a visit to the Army Heritage Center Foundation gift store or the MWR's Cafe Cumberland. Speaking of our foundation, the Army Heritage Center Foundation is a nonprofit organization that supports the center and they would love to meet you and hear your ideas. If you served in the Army or know someone who did, we are interested in hearing and possibly collecting your stories. Please fill out one of our veteran survey forms or talk to our friendly staff if you are interested in donating service related items. We look forward to seeing you here in Carlisle where we work hard every day to tell the Army's story one soldier at a time. Army strong.